Alright, so this is like take two of this crappy video. So, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put it out. So, this anime, really good. I'm wanting to watch it. it. I didn't watch it to two years before I figured it finally decided, hey, I'm gonna watch this anime because, hey, because, you know, it's really cool. So, what if, what if virtual reality was a real thing? What if we had something called a nerve gear? which was a virtual reality helmet that we were basically capable of putting on our heads and going into a game or a fantasy kind of world that's basically sort of like the Matrix in a way, but instead of the whole Keanu Reeves bullshit that they put in, we have sort of online-like things, like basically an actual like games where you have like a holographic inventory, your whole inventory is like like a, like a computer like hologram which like can come out and you can do whatever you want and you can like change your clothes like that, you can f cook food very easily, you can level up yourself and your skills. That's what this anime is. Sora Online is amazing. I'm going to be taking you guys into my first reaction of the first 10 episodes of Sora Online. I am currently watching or going to be watching episode 11 of Sora Online. So here it goes. So Sora Online takes place in, I believe, 2022 at the start of the actual anime. It goes through, uh, I believe, two to three years into the future after. Like, it'll start going into 2023, and then later on 2024, and then eventually it goes to 2025 and 2026, I think? I don't know. So what it is, is it's a, it's a, uh, it's known as a comedy anime a game and fantasy, like, uh, along with a romance-like anime. So we have Kirito, who is like known as a beater, who is a cheater and a beta, a beta tester. He's basically a beta, a beta tester who knows his way through the game because he played through the old build. Well, apparently, a lot of things from the beta did not get into the actual full game, which is why it has changed a lot. The anime is really amazing. The, the art style, I actually like myself. The comedy is top notch, especially. Uh, when you watch the English dub version of it, because you will laugh at some of the stuff, especially the part when Kirito, you know, he goes like, he like gropes a sooner or something like that, or he does something, it's hilarious. But, like, because they, they first, they both teleport on each other, and then he like grabs their chest or something, he goes like, hmm, what's this? It's squishy, and then all of a sudden she like punches him in the face, she, he goes flying into a, into a, a thing, a wall. And when I saw that, I couldn't stop laughing at just how hilarious it is. And I actually had to put, I had to say a few things because this is funny. So, I will be doing a review of uh, the first season after I get through the first season. There's 24 episodes, which is actually going to keep me going because a lot of uh, anime that I watch has about 12 episodes. And I really don't like anime that has 12 episodes whatsoever. I don't like anime that are that short in episodes. Say, try to be unprofessional. I mean, professional, not unprofessional. In a way, the anime does bring on emotional feelings to the watcher, such as the death scenes. There was actually, I believe, there's actually a few episodes that have it to where around five, maybe ten uh, actual characters will die in front of you at once, almost. Like they had a part when um, Kirito first joined the guild and he wanted to protect this young lady, this young girl. Apparently, they were in this area and I was actually watching the whole thing and all of them died and you would hear them screaming, you hear them being killed and obliterated and then the girl gets killed and I'm just gonna say this, it made me almost cry because when you die in that game, in the anime, you die in real life. The nerve gear fries your brain. I don't get why they did that, but I think it was like something to do with like a, a witness saying like, "Oh, people are dying because." And well, I don't fucking know why they did that. It's probably because it's like a future technology and people are dying. Oh my god! Oh, la, 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 la. Right. But so later on, he meets Asuna, known as Yuki Asuna, who is actually, I believe, the daughter of. Uh, the CEO of some giant, humongous, technological coal, if that's even a word, 
uh, business where he like creates the, the advanced technology or something like that. I don't know. Uh, but apparently she's like the daughter of some CEO of some giant multi-million dollar company. And she, it, it's funny because in, because in the game, in the, in Star Online, she's actually, um, the sub-leader of Knights of Blood Oath. Now, the anime did make me actually smile a lot, made me laugh a lot, and made me also try to also cry a lot, which is reasons why I love this anime, because it gets really, really emotional. Especially the part when the two wake up and they're sort of talking about marriage, having kids, and getting a house. And I was like, okay, I need to pause this and I need to sort this shit out. I need to think of what is going on, what's going to happen in the future. I haven't had any of my friends spoil it. I've even told my friends that they spoiled it. I would potentially punch them in the face. If they ever tried spoiling the story for me, because I do not like getting spoiled with story or the plot or anything. We did just get to see some kiss scenes, which I have to say I probably kind of like jumped around because I was like, because I just shipped the hell out of those two, and we all know that's going to happen. But uh, a friend of mine did tell me that later on there's going to be a lot more in, uh, emotional parts to where, you know, characters are going to probably be killed. Or uh, Asuna is probably gonna almost die, or Kirito is gonna get almost killed, or, or something like that. I don't know. This anime is very emotional. It, it's very romantic as well, and I think there's actually I don't know if later on, but I do know that later on there will probably be some parts that are not for kids in a way. I don't know. I don't know. But this is just an anime. I do recommend you guys to watch this. I am currently watching. I'm gonna be watching season uh, episode 11 and 12. Uh, I'll try to watch all of it today, uh, the rest of season one. I really want to get into it. The opening of this, the opening soundtrack is amazing. I do want to find out, I do want to find a soundtrack, and I want to listen to it. The opening song. I do recommend you guys watch this. If you guys have never, like, heard of, if you ever watched The Matrix, then don't watch The Matrix. The Matrix, yeah, it was kind of good, but Stroll Online is like an anime version of The Matrix, and it's amazing. It is amazing. So, a lot of shit's actually happened. They found an, uh, they found an artificial intelligence uh, named Yui. Uh, a lot of shit has gone down. A lot of people have died. Apparently, Kirito's friend, I forgot his name, the guy with the freaking katana, who's also the leader of like one of the huge, like uh, it's like a Chinese like guild, still alive. He's an absolute badass. I do love how this this anime is like a fantasy world where anything can happen. We have player killers. We have what you call sleep PK, which means sleep player killer. It means that somebody can be sleeping and they can they can basically uh, move the person's hand. And when they give them a duel, they can move the person's hand and they can make it to where they accept the duel. When they accept the duel, that's when that one person can just hack away at that body until they die. Really stupid, huh? I would be afraid as fuck. I would not be able to sleep at all if I heard that. If we ever hear virtual reality uh, games. Which I think we do have a few. I don't really know if we do. Because I know we don't have like the, the hookup. We do have the Oculus Rift, but that's nothing compared to the Nerve Gear. Oculus Rift isn't even virtual reality. It's like some... I don't really know what it is. I don't even know if it's considered virtual reality. I, I don't fucking know. But... You know, just to say, I do recommend this anime. I'm just going to give it a little sort of a pre-review. Right now, I'm going to give it maybe around 8, 8.5 out of 10. Right now, that's just my pre-review. If it does a lot more better, or if it gets really interesting for the first season, I might give it a 9, maybe a 9.5. I don't know! I might give it a 7. I don't know if it gets really confusing. But anyway... It's a first reaction telling you guys, I was amazed at this, these first 10 episodes, I loved it so much. I'm just going to tell you guys, I have to go, I'm going to get this episode, freaking this video out to you guys. Hope you guys all enjoy, uh, someday I hope I get better editing software so I can edit my videos better. But, uh, just so you guys know, I do recommend you go watch this, you can find it on Kiss Anime, uh, I do recommend the sub if you're, if you're a huge fan of the sub. Watch. I'm not really huge on anime subs. 
I'm more on a dub, it's like the English dub, because English dub I actually like, because I love the, the, the voice actors for the English characters. But anyway, hope you guys enjoy, I'm your host Kay, and welcome to another episode of the world of anime. This is First Reaction Episode 1 of Sword Online. Peace out.